welcome everyone to my wildlife channel um, the aim of my channel would be to showcase and document my visits and stays at all the national parks uh, and reserves across our country and also in the southern states of Africa making more people aware and sensitize them about our wildlife heritage more will have the longing and the urge to visit the parks and the reserves across South Africa. Our animals are kings and queens in their reserves called home and we should respect them in their natural habitat. This behavior and outlook on our wildlife will ensure a legacy for our children and leave something for them to the, in the future. This is the first first day and then now we are to go in the S28 loop. They say apparently there was some lion and cheetah activity the day before so we will check this out today. So what's new on the channel? I will showcase all my sightings for the day. Uh, I will share specific animals on the endangered, endangered species list that needs our protection because this is key for our heritage. Um, and then when traveling through the park, one should always take time to focus not just on the big animals or the big five animals, but also the small animals and the insects. Um, share all, also your comments in the section below, uh, the comment section below, that you've encountered um, with different animals in, in uh, your favorite park. Welcome again everyone to my channel and also to our wildlife series which we would record the third day of our travels uh, which will be from Lower Sabi towards Satara. This will be day three. So our travels will be divided into a couple of points or shall I say headings and number one will be what will be the plan for today. So today we will take a drive from Lower Sabi Camp. Uh, we will take, take the H10 up to Open Dam. And then at, uh, from Open Dam to Tsukwani, uh, we will have breakfast. And then I will take the H1-3 up to Satara. And then from uh, Satara, I would also take a late morning drive. Um, once I've um, assured that my accommodation is booked, I visit all the small little loops around Satara, and then I'll also take another afternoon drive uh, from Satara Camp, um, which will be 
the H1-4 to Tempavati. And from there we will have dinner at the Cattle Baron. So again, um, some some issues that that has been um, hampering me for some time with visiting the Kruger Park um, is that one should be aware of people not sticking to the speed limit. All right, so this is create this is becoming a concern now in the park, and people should also be aware of construction areas that's been washed away or washaways uh, due to the rainy seasons. And if you see any litter in the park, please dispose of it.
So meeting my favorite animals, um, number one, on my trip from Lower Sabi to Satara, I saw a couple of cheetahs at uh, Kumana, and then a pride of lions that caught a buffalo at the Vitpins, and then also I saw a couple of troops of different, at different places of baboons. Uh, one was at Open Dam, and, and the other one just north of that, and then also at, at Tsukwani.
visiting different picnic spots uh, is, is, is a must, um, like uh, Bobby Young Crowns in Timbavati. My experience and opinion of the Satara camp uh, and everybody in the chalets, they were very well maintained. And one should also just be aware that due to the load shedding currently happening in South Africa and implemented in different areas, you might wake up and then there's no power. Uh, the shops are well stocked, the fueling stations, they are well maintained, so there is fueling stations at the different camps and then um, also the, the grounds, the grounds are also well maintained. Um, reception was very helpful and friendly, pe helps people to get into the accommodation and whatever other concerns they've got. Just a message to the followers and subscribers, I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone that is watching my videos. Without you as viewer um, and a subscriber, this channel will not be possible or it will not even be able to grow. So please share all the so on social platforms with all your contacts, friends and family. Because this, this will help me to, to improve and also um, it will reach the outskirts of the world. And, and we can also promote and create an amazing channel as a legacy for our children. So thank you uh, for watching and keep watching for every till new episodes and new videos are uploaded. And remember, take care, protect and share our time is precious. Also remember that they've, each camp has got a sighting board, so uh, there will be a sighting board for the sightings of yesterday and also the sightings of that specific day, which is called today. And then you can also put little magnet strips on those boards to say where you've um, sighted some animals. 